Hey guys, welcome to Golf Ball Attic. Thanks for being here. Um, as promised yesterday, it is Vice Week, so I'm starting out by reviewing the Vice Beginner Ball, which is the Vice Drive. So it's a two-piece golf ball, probably meant to go up against the Callaway Super Soft or uh, maybe a lot of top flight balls, things like that. And uh, these balls actually retail for $19.99. You can get them less than that if you buy in bulk. Vice has a uh, program where if you buy, the more you buy, the more you save. So if you buy five boxes, you actually get them for $11.99 a piece and plus shipping. Shipping ends up being like six, seven dollars for all of it together. So all in all, you're looking like $12 a dozen, which is a great price point. It ends up being about a dollar a golf ball. So the golf ball, when I review it today, the one I'm going to have going up against it is actually the Top Flight Bomb. So I reviewed that one a while back. I have the numbers on it. And the reason I went with that one was it necessarily didn't test the best, but it tested okay numbers wise. It just, I didn't like the cover on it. And honestly, it was a little too firm, I think, for what it was trying to do. But the numbers weren't bad. So I'm going to go ahead and put it up against that just to see uh, with it being a medium range. I haven't tested a lot of two piece golf balls yet. So that's kind of all I have to go up against at the moment. So here we go. So the Vice Drive is a two piece golf ball, like I said. And basically, it's made with a two piece DuPont uh, Serlin construction. It's got the, uh, the soft energy core. It's meant for slower swing speed, so that makes a lot of uh, sense. 312 dimples. Um, it's got an extremely tough and cut-resistant cover is what Vice claims. So uh, we're definitely going to be testing that because uh, with golf balls in this price range, I never hold my breath. They always end up being a little less durable than I'd like them to be. Um, the main goal is to try to get them through 18, so we'll definitely test that. And yeah, I mean, it even says right there, designed and engineered for beginners and occasional golfers. So yeah, this is just their hit it long and straight ball, and we'll compare that to see how it goes. So let's go ahead and test it up against the numbers and see what we find. All right, so going into how it feels with chipping and putting, um, it feels pretty soft, I'll be honest with you. For a two-piece golf ball, it has definitely got a low compression number on it. Um, coming off the putter, extremely squishy, extremely soft. Actually bounces off of it pretty good. It's pretty fast off the putter, which some softballs do that and some don't. Like the Callaway Soft, like I mentioned earlier, sometimes is a little too spongy, but this one actually was pretty quick off the putter, so I was impressed. Uh, chipping with it, again, felt really soft. I was chipping around the, the homemade green, as you can see there, with the 60 degree. It was coming off really nice, almost couldn't feel any feedback. Uh, stopped on the green pretty quick too, not spin wise, but just kind of by absorbing in there. It definitely had some roll after it, uh, how much I would expect a two piece to normally do. Um, but it did have less roll after than the bomb, but hey, like I said, the bomb's kind of more of a firm ball, so that, that's kind of probably why. Uh, but overall, around the green, it felt pretty decent. If you need to, to do some magic around there, but you're worried about it having spin, I, I didn't have any issues. And if you saw, I kind of have a small green, so I was able to keep it on there. So on a bigger green, I can't imagine you'd have any issues. All right, so now getting into the 50-yard pitch, this is where we find out how well it holds up. 50-yard um, pitch, so spin on it is going to be 8,449 RPMs compared to the bomb had 8,476. So actually, that's right neck and neck. Um, Two-piece golf ball. Honestly, I'm surprised to see them get that much. I know a lot of them spin more because, you know, they need the height. They need you know, more distance if you have a lower swing speed. Uh, but that's actually two impressive numbers there. I, I actually, in my bomb review, had mentioned that I thought that was a good number for a two-piece. So the drive actually competes right up there with it. So honestly, that's very impressive. So moving into the full pitching with shots, um, we got 8,001 RPM spin from the drive. Uh, with the bomb, it actually had went down. It was like 7,694. So very impressive there. I was actually able to keep it over 8,000. That actually might be too much for some guys, but if you're needing extra height and you really do have a slow swing speed, that will help you. So it's impressive to see that. Over 8,000 is something on a pitching wedge you usually don't see until you get into a, a tour quality or a budget tour quality ball. Um, so i got to say, it's pretty impressive if you like spin or you need more spin. All right, so the long irons here. I always love to test balls on the long irons because it starts compressing a little differently. And you can see the spin number definitely drop off here. So this is going to be 6,336 RPMs with the vice drive. Um, that's actually a little too high, I think, for a normal player. But if you have a slower swing speed or a medium swing speed and you're kind of a beginner weekend golfer like this ball is intended for, that number is actually pretty good. That's kind of what you want. It's going to get you a little bit more ball flight, and it's going to stop on the green a little bit better. Uh, and a lot more forgiveness, too. So that's really impressive there. 111.7 mile an hour ball speed compared to with the top flight bomb. I actually only got about 107. So drastically different there. Uh, about four mile an hour difference. I think this one just compresses a lot better. That top flight bomb was very firm. I had trouble compressing it. There wasn't a lot of forgiveness to it. 
so this one definitely had more forgiveness. Even if I was hitting it off the toe, I was still seeing increased ball speed. So honestly, it was very impressive. Uh, going back to the bomb, I also only got 5,342 RPMs with it, as you saw. So drastic difference there. Um, that's actually probably a little low for a long iron, but the 6,336 probably is, is more engineered toward that beginner. So honestly, so far, great numbers. Let's just see if it can finish off great with the uh, big stick. So with the driver, the vice drive, 226.5 yards. Not bad. When you compare that to the bomb, I was looking at 224. So actually, I got a little bit uh, better distance with the drive. Ball speed was 142.7. With the top flight bomb, it looks like that's pretty close, 141. I really had trouble compressing that top flight bomb. Spin, going to be very important here because with a driver and a beginner ball, you want more spin opposed to less spin because beginners and slower swingers are going to want to get a little bit more height to get a little bit more distance, tee it up high, let it fly, things like that. So I actually got 2,943 backspin RPM, backspin with this ball. Normally I would scoff at that, but because of the intended audience, I say that's actually going to help a lot of people. Getting that extra spin in there is going to get them the more ball height. Um, honestly, you know, it didn't affect my numbers much, but it would affect a lot of people's numbers differently, especially those guys that are just coming out once a month for sure. Or, you know, seniors, I think of quite a bit too. Man, seniors get all the breaks in this game. But yeah, so 2,943 RPM with the, the drive. And if you go back, I had about 2,700 with the bomb. And that's about normal for me with a tour ball or any other type of ball. 2,700 is kind of there. If I, if I play a ball that's super low spinning, I'll get it 23, 24, somewhere in there. So 29, I, you know, this is the first time I've ever had a ball that I was hoping for higher spin. And I actually got it. So I got to say, I'm very impressed with that. It actually finished really well with the driver, which is what I was hoping it would do. So um, yeah, so far so great. Let's test the durability. Let's keep it going. So I didn't talk about it before, but if we're looking at the overall design of the golf ball, sometimes I'll talk about, you know, the design, logo, font, things like that. The Vice logo looks really good. I love the cursive. You know, if you've seen it, it's kind of iconic at this point. A lot of people see it and just instantly know because the, the commercials have been berated in their mind so much. But overall, the Vice logo looks really good. I love the italicized numbers they have. It looks nice. And then I love the alignment on the side. They all come with that really thick line that says, you know, the name of the golf ball. It's easy to line up your putts. Honestly, it's a basic design, but it looks really good. Um, sometimes less is more. So durability, this is going to be a big one. Anytime you get into these golf balls that don't cost as much, always ends up being a problem with the durability. I got to say, you know, it's not fantastic, but it's not bad either. It's definitely not. Um, you know, I hit about 60 to 70 shots with it. I've taken it to the course and played a couple holes with it. I usually switch them out every few holes, especially since I had so many to test. Uh, but yeah, so I, I probably hit, oh, 80 to 100 shots with it total, if I had to guess, if you add them all up. And as you can see from the pictures there, it's pretty scuffed up. Um, there, there's definitely some rips, some tears. Uh, but overall, I mean, I've seen worse. The bomb did really bad in this aspect, and that's kind of why I didn't recommend it because um, I just couldn't see it lasting more than a few holes at the most. Um, but this one can definitely get you through 18, that's for sure. Um, looking at it, seeing how well it is, like I said, it's not perfect, but it'll definitely get you through 18. And anytime you're talking about a golf ball that ranges from $12 a dozen to $20 a dozen, as long as you can get you through 18, I give it the passing grade. So that's what it gets. So who is this golf ball for? Well, I think it's for a variety of people. I think it definitely hits the target market that Vice wants it for, which is beginners, weekend golfers, juniors, ladies I could even see, and it's, it's soft enough to where ladies can play with it as well. So yeah, I would definitely say it's for that market. And honestly, if you're just a beginner and you're wanting to support, you know, a more direct to consumer golf ball, or you don't want to pay to lose golf balls, which is a very common thing, I could see this golf ball working out for you. If you buy them in bulk, you can get them for that $12 a dozen. Even if you just go buy them retail for $20 a dozen at Target or from the Vice website, honestly, I don't think you can go wrong. For that price point, um, there aren't too many great golf balls out there that will really help your swing and elevate your game if you're that slow of a swinger. But I can see this one doing that for sure. The numbers I've seen are fantastic. And I mean, usually when I review a golf ball, it has one or two numbers that I'm not totally impressed with. I gotta say, these numbers all the way through are impressive. So anybody who needs a two-piece golf ball or an inexpensive golf ball to try out or whatever you may be if you're in that category, this is the one I definitely have to recommend for sure. It's price point, the marketing, the design, everything kind of put it into this realm that I haven't seen before. 
you know, your TaylorMades don't do this, your Callaways don't do this. Um, even the Callaway Super Soft at $22 a dozen, don't get me wrong, that's a great golf ball, but I'm just not sure it offers all the numbers these do because that one's super low spinning. And also you can support a local opposed to a big corporation. You might not be into that. Some people are, I am, but if you're not, that's fine. Um, so it just kind of gives you that option. So overall, guys, this is a great beginner ball. Um, it really does what Vice claims it says it's going to do. Uh, it had the tough cover. It lasted the full 18. All the numbers were fantastic. So all in all, it's, it's hard not to give this ball a glowing review. I'm excited to do the next one. So guys, again, tomorrow I have the, the Vice uh, Tour coming. The Vice Tour is coming tomorrow. Thanks for being here. I appreciate you watching this review. Let me know what you think if you've played this ball. Um, I appreciate feedback. I really do. Always keep watching and keep saving. And tomorrow, guys, coming with the other review during Vice Week. Thanks so much.